Number one, there are a handful of hints that Alice is with Bill for his money. Dollar Bill, we might call him. When he can't find his wallet in the opening scene, Alice knows right where it is. Honey, you see my wallet? Uh, isn't it on the bedside table? And later she teaches her daughter how to compare men in terms of how much money they have. Joe has $2.50 and Mike has $1.75. Joe has how much more money than Mike? $1.75. Number two, masks show up in several scenes, not just in the masked ball. In the dead guy's bedroom, there's one next to the bed. There's a pink eye mask pinned up next to Bill's daughter's bed. And there are lots of masks in the prostitute's bedroom. In fact, masks and beds seem to be consistently linked. Number three, when we first see the prostitutes on the street, there's a porn video shop right across the road. Number four, when Bill goes into the Sonata Cafe, there's a surrealist picture of a naked woman with her legs wide shut, so to speak. Number five, when Bill had to go out at night after a failed sexual advance on Alice, did he really receive a phone call about a client's death? Or did he receive a late night invitation to a private party of some kind? Consider his giveaway line in comparison to what happens at the Summerton Mansion. I think I have to go over there and show my face. And consider also that his encounter with this woman and her partner was basically a role reversal in which he was fantasizing about being the desirable male who Alice was telling him she was going to run off with. Number six, and this is a funny one, though I doubt it's deliberate. In this scene, there's a book on the breakfast table called The Grinch Stole Christmas. The Grinch was a cartoon character who looked like this. And later on, a guy in the orgy scene wearing a very Grinch-like mask is seen banging a hooker. Number seven, and this is a great one for the conspiracy research crowd. The mansion where the orgy takes place is a British location called Mentmore Towers, which was built by a prominent member of the Rothschild banking dynasty. Mayor Amschel de Rothschild. We're shown a ton of masks in the location, including this one. It has the colours of the dollar bill and features a triangular design inside the circle with one of the wearer's eyes at the apex of the triangle. Remind you of anything? Dun dun dun! Note also, get it, note, dollar note, that there's a similarity between the mouth and eye positions on this mask and Nicole Kidman's face on the main marketing poster, which makes her eye look quite evil. Number eight, when Bill is sitting in his office before trying to call up Marion, whose advances he rejected earlier, the scene begins with a very odd and out of place shot. We see this seemingly irrelevant bit of the office, then we slowly pan across the reception to Bill's office door. What a waste of 20 seconds. Except, look at the set details. Up here, there's a surveillance warning sign next to a CCTV camera, and then we see a display board which shows that Bill is at the top of the list of doctors, and so he's presumably the highest ranking doctor in the office. But below it says, payment is expected when services are rendered unless other arrangements are made in advance. These details are very significant to Bill's psychological dilemma. Just a few scenes earlier, he was looking into a camera outside the Summerton Mansion gate, and was given a note indicating that he was being watched. And at the same time, he is desperate to get laid and is willing to pay for the services of a hooker. Number nine, another strange pattern involving signs. Bill passes a Mexican cafe, then sees a couple outside a flower shop. Above them is a neon graphic of a rose, and on the door is a sign that says, Nibbed in the bud. Obviously a pun on rosebud. Bill then passes a pink pussycat sign, and a sign that says, Ladies' Night. Keep those details in mind and listen to the dialogue of the Yale graduates who taunt Bill about his sexuality. She had a red rose in her mouth. She was doing a Mexican lap dance right in my face. Serious, I got scars on the back of my neck. Hey, 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 hey. what team's this switch hitter playing for? Looks like the pink team, this huh? Faggot. You want faggot? Number 10, this prostitute, I mean model, reminds Bill of a time when they apparently had met before. Session in Rockefeller Plaza on a very windy day. You got something in your eye. Uh, just about half of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> right. You were such a gentleman. You gave me your handkerchief. Did she really have something in her eye? 
or was she crying because of how she had been mistreated by some sexual predator in a suit or tuxedo? You know, someone similar to Ziegler. Number 11. Here's another one for the conspiracy crowd. People have been theorising since Eyes Wide Shut was released that Kubrick was killed for making a film that showed rich people engaging in a satanic orgy. But the movie itself ironically contains a plotline in which there's a suspected murder, but no hard evidence to prove it. Nobody killed anybody. Someone died. It happens all the time. But life goes on. It always does. Until it doesn't. <laughs> but you know that, don't you? Number 12. In this scene, the pale blue light has the effect of making Bill and Alice look like they're wearing Venetian masks. And before you rush in to type, over analysis, man, here's an alternative poster design for the film painted by Kubrick's wife, Chris Jan. The faces of Cruz and Kidman, seen in blue against a red background, celebrity red carpet perhaps, are clearly presented as masks. And number 13, Lurch tells Alice... Don't you think one of the charms of marriage is that it makes deception a necessity for both parties? Both parties, Ziegler's party, the masked ball party, get it? A necessity for both parties. <laughs> now some details I wanted to put in this video I haven't been able to show you here on YouTube because of all the nudity in the film. So if you head over to my website at collativelearning.com, you can download the second part of this video for free and without any sign-in requirements. The link is in the video description below. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, and thanks for watching.